Phonics time again today. So I thought we'd have a go at using the big whiteboard today and see how we get on. Okay, so our recap today is which one is correct. So for each sentence, I've given you a sentence and three options for the word that goes in there. So I want you to read the sentence and decide. We're using our er uh sounds we've been looking at this week. So you've looked at er uh with um, Mrs. Cooper. You've looked at er uh, better letter. And we also know er uh, nurse with a purse, don't we? So we know er uh, well and twirl, er uh, better letter, er uh, nurse with a purse. So you've got to choose the correct er uh for the spelling. Okay, so if we have a go at reading it, he came, and our options are the word first in the race. Which first do you think it is? Which one is spelt right? Do we need er uh, better letter, er uh, well and twirl, er uh, nurse with a purse? <coughs> think about where they come in the words. Okay, <coughs> hopefully you've made a decision and the correct one is er, uh, were, and twirl. Because remember this er uh, tends to come in the middle of words, doesn't it? Whereas this one tends to come at the end <coughs> and that one doesn't look right. Okay, so our next one. Have a go at reading the sentence and decide which word is correct. You can pause the video and write it if you want to. <coughs> okay, so it's my turn next. Which er do we think it is? Well, again, this tends to come at the end of the word. This one doesn't look right, so hopefully you've chosen this one, turn next. Okay, and our last one. Have a go at reading it, pause the video if you need to. Okay, the lady was a, and our word is nurse. So which one do we think? Again, this one doesn't tend to come in the middle of a word. That one just looks a bit strange, doesn't it? So it's this one, nurse. Okay, the lady was a nurse. So hopefully you picked the right one. If you didn't, don't worry, just have a look. So hopefully you remember next time. Okay. So can you think of any words with these spellings? These are the three er sounds. So we've got er, well, and twill, er, better letter, er, nurse with a purse. So see, pause the video, see if you can come up with one word for each spelling. Okay, so hopefully you've had a little go at this. So I'm thinking of words that begin with this er sound. So it's whirl and twirl. So you might have chosen one of those words, whirl and twirl. I'm going to choose the word third because I know that uses that sound, third. Okay, you might have put whirl, you might have put twirl. All those words that we read yesterday. Yeah, first, chirp, any of those would have gone in there. So er, better letter. So you might have chosen one of those. Now better letter is tricky because both of them have that double T. Okay, for better letter. Okay, so well done if you came up with an er, uh, it's that er uh, at the end of the word. Okay, so maybe show your grown up and check whichever er uh, you've chosen for that is the correct spelling. The last one is er uh, nurse with a purse. So if you know how to spell nurse, which we've just looked at, you might have chosen that word, you also know how to spell purse, because it's also got that e on the end. Okay, so hopefully you had a little go at choosing. You only had to write one for each spelling, maybe get your grown up to check that you've used the right spelling for each one. Remember, this one tends to come at the end of the word, so that helps us. Okay, so your next job is, I want you to read, we're going to read these words and decide if they're real or alien words. Okay, so can you draw this on your piece of paper and you can put a tick and a little alien at the top. And then what I want you to do is re pause the video, read these words and then write them in the correct column and then we'll come back together and do it together. Okay. So hopefully you've had a little go at that, you've drawn your grid and you've read your words and you've decided if they're real or alien. So let's have a look at this one first. We've got you, erp, yerp. Ever heard of a yerp? And do we get that er in the middle of the word? No, so hopefully you popped it in the alien box. Well done if you have, super work. Next one, let's have a look at this. Ooh, let's have a look at this word. G, -l girl. Yes, well done, real word. We've got lots of girls in the class, haven't we, girl? Okay, let's have a look at this one. Hopefully you know it says better, and that's what you're shouting at me, better, because it's better letter, yeah? So that one would go over here. 
about this one here? Can you sound it out? T, twirl, twirl. So do you think it's real or alien? Yeah, because the phrase is whirl and twirl, isn't it? We can twirl round. Yeah? How about this one? Hopefully you've sounded out. B burst, burst. Yeah, that's real. So I'm the water pipe burst and water went everywhere. Okay. Oh, tricky one. Managed to work that one out. Brother, brother. And it's got the er on the end. Yeah, that's real. I've got two brothers. Yeah. Next one, have a look at this. Can you sound it out? G -us. You ever heard of a gus? No, so let's pop that in alien words. Next one. Now we've just I've just got to go at spelling this one, so hopefully you can sound this one out. P -us. And it's got that grotty graphic thing on the end of that E. So purse. Yeah, you've got it right. That's a real word. Next one. Silver. Silver. Yeah, you might have a silver ring or a silver necklace. So silver. And again, look, we've got that er sound on the end of the word. Can you sound it out? T um, term. Now, usually this does come at the end of the word, which is what I've been telling you, but this one's just one of those mean words. And it comes in the middle and it is term, like the summer term at school, or we're in the spring term at the minute. There's a period of time. So that is a real word. That might have tricked you, that one. How about this one? Again, it's the same pattern as term. Herb, herb, herb. Yeah, again, another mean word where it actually comes in the middle, which isn't that common. Um, so herbs are the things you put on your food. They grow in the garden plants. Okay. And then we've got, yes, nurse. Nurse. Yeah, and again, it's got that grotty grapheme on the end, but it is a real word. And then we've got one more. Yeah, yurt. No. There is such a thing as a yurt, but it isn't spelled quite like that. Okay, so your next job. Can you draw the columns and write uh, 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 all three ways? And then we're just going to talk about these pictures, and then I want you to go writing the words in the correct column. Okay, so we've got a flower. Think where that would go. Brother, turnip, first, first place in the race. Burr, church, nurse, shirt, shower. Okay, so each one of them uses one of those er sounds. So you've got to make the decision as to where it needs to go. So pause the video and have a go, and then we'll write them in the right column after. Okay. So hopefully you've had a little go at that. So our first one was flower. Which er sound do we think? Hopefully you've written it in this middle one because it goes at the end of the word. So we've got flower. Okay, flower. Okay, next one, brother. Brother. That's a tricky one. Again, it goes in the middle, but it doesn't sound quite like it. You don't spell it quite like it sounds. It's that brother rather than brother. Brother. Okay. Turnip. Turnip. That one goes in here. You might not have known that one because it's probably not a word you've come across very much, but turnip. First. Now, this is one of our time connectors, so hopefully you know that first goes in this one with our whirl and twirl sound. Okay. Next one, bird. Now, we, I've just written that not long ago, haven't I? So I know that bird goes in this one. Tick it if you got it right. Well done. Church. Church. Yeah, you've got it. It's in this one. Ch Urch. If you're not sure, or you got it wrong, just correct it, don't worry. Nurse. Now, this is that one with the grotty grapheme on the end. Can you remember? So it goes in this one, nurse. It sounds like it should be like that, but sometimes our sound has an et on the end. And our last one is shower. Shower. It's a bit like flower, isn't it? Shower. So well done if you got them all right. If you didn't, just pause the video and correct them. Don't worry about it. It's fine as long as you've had a really good go. Okay, right, next one. So I've got some pictures here and I want you to have a go at writing them using the correct er uh, sound. Okay, so a little bit similar, but this time you've got the pictures there and you're choosing the correct spelling. Okay, so our first one is a burger. Church, you should get that right now. Nurse, dirt, shirt, girl, 
circle, now that's a tricky one, and 30, that is also a tricky one. So have a little think about those two. Okay, so pause the video and see how many of those words you can write. Okay, off you go. So hope you've had a little go at that. It's lots of writing today. I'm really testing you with these different er sounds, aren't I? So we've got burger. Bur this is a tricky one because it actually uses this er sound and this er sound, burger. Ooh, a bit of a trick one there. Church, hopefully, if you didn't get this right last time, you've got it right this time. Church. We've got a nurse. Yeah, nurse, again, with that grotty grapheme on the end. Dirt. D. D. Dirt. Dirt. And it's a bit like bird, isn't it? It's that sound. D. Dirt. Okay. Shirt. Sh. Ert. Shirt. Sh. Ert. Girl, girl, again, it's this er, uh, whirl and twirl sound, G girl. We've got a circle. Now, this is a tricky one because it sounds like it should start with a s, but it doesn't. It's a bit of a meme on that circle, and that is the spelling we have to learn in year two. And 30. Uh, t. We had lots of that er uh, one, didn't we? Er. Uh. Okay, just recapping what we did with Mrs. Cooper. Okay, so now we've got a sentence to write. So I want you to write the sentence, choose filling in what the pictures are. So we've got the girl picks a flower for a nurse. So pause the video and have a go. Now remember, I'm looking for capital letters, full stops and finger spaces. So see how you get on with that. Okay, pause the video and have a go. Okay, hope you've had a go at that. Now I'm going to have a go at writing the sentence, then I want you to be the teacher and see if you can spot any mistakes I make. Okay, so the girl picks a flower for, I'm just going to put another line in because I've run out. It doesn't quite fit, does it? For a nurse. Okay, there you go. I've worked really hard on that. What do you reckon? Hopefully, you're shouting that I've made a few mistakes in this. I'm going to get my purple pen and see if you can help me correct them. So, oh no, look, straight away I can see I've forgotten my capital letter. So, check, have you got a capital letter? So, the. What's happened to my E? It looks like a back to front G, doesn't it? Make sure your norm guys sit on the line, okay? The girl, G, that's the right girl, so that's good. Oh, but I needed a tall love there. The girl picks, that looks pretty good, that hangs down, I've got the right sound, I've copied it neatly. A, flower, now remember, we don't have a capital in the middle of a sentence unless it is for a proper noun, like a name or a place. But it is a tall and a full guy, don't forget. Now, flower, look, this is the end of the word. So which er sound should I have used? Yeah, you're right. It's this one, isn't it? So I'm just going to correct that. Flower for a nurse. Now, I've got the right er sound, but what did I say goes on the end of nurse? Can you remember? That's right, our grotty grapheme. And then I forgot my full stop. What am I like? So hopefully you spotted some of my mistakes and you did a better job than me, I'm sure. So well done for having a go at that. Super phonics today. Keep up the good work. Well done.